In this question, there is an eight-year-old boy who is referred to a neurologist by his family physician because he has developed progressive slow and clumsy walking. On examination, the patient has difficulty with standing and running. While standing, he adopts a wide-based gait with constant shifting of position to maintain his balance. Sitting or standing, he also displays a constant tremor of the head and trunk. When asked to walk, his feet strike the ground in an uneven and irregular rhythm. If he attempts to correct his imbalance, he displays wild and abrupt movements. A magnetic resonance image reveals demyelination in the dorsal columns, corticospinal, and spinocerebellar tracts. The child is diagnosed with Friedreich's ataxia an autosomal recessive neurological disorder, resulting from mutation of a gene locus on chromosome 9, second-order neurons of the dorsal, posterior spinocerebellar tracts are located, in which of the following, the answer choices are, deep cerebellar nuclei, b, dorsal root ganglion, c, nucleus cuneatus, or d, nucleus dorsalis, Clark's column. You can pause now. Answer this question. Unpause and check the correct answer. All right. So, the correct answer here is D. The nucleus dorsalis, Clark's column, contains the cell bodies of the second order neurons of the dorsal, posterior spinocerebellar tract. Axons from these neurons ascend. Ipsilaterally and the lateral funiculus of the spinal cord join the restiform body of the inferior cerebellar peduncle and terminate in the vermis of the cerebellum as mossy fibers.